hello viewers welcome to learners region so in this video what we are going to see classification of computer on the basis of technology and functionality on the basis of size speed and cost so let's see on the basis of technology and functionality so we have three types analog computer digital computer hybrid computer and on the basis of size speed and cost we have notebook and laptop computers, personal computers, workstations, mainframe computers, supercomputers, client and server computers, and handheld computers. In handheld computers, we have three types, tablet PC, PDA, pocket PC, or smartphones. So let's begin with analog computer. An analog computer is a form of computer that uses the continuously changeable aspect of physical fact such as electrical, mechanical or hydraulic quantities to model the problem being solved. For example, thermometer, analog clock, speedometer, tire, pressure gauge, digital computer. Computer capable of solving problems by processing information expressed in discrete form. By manipulating combination of binary digits 0 and 1. It can perform mathematical calculations, organize and analyze data, control industrial and other processes, and simulate dynamic systems such as global weather patterns. For example, IBM PC, Apple Macintosh computers, calculators, digital watches, etc. Now let's move on hybrid computer, a computer that processes both analog and digital data. Hybrid computer is a digital computer that, has, uh, that accepts analog signals, converts them to digital and processes them in digital form. For example, computers used in hospitals to measure the heartbeat of the patient, used in petrol pump, used in scientific applications or in controlling industrial processes in defense radar system. Now let's move on the basis of size, speed, speed and cost. So the first one is notebook or laptop computers. Now notebook or laptop computers are portable, mainly meant for use by people who need computing resource whenever they go. It uses almost full size keyboard, a flat screen display, touchpad and all the functionality of personal computer. Wireless connectivity with Wi-Fi and Bluetooth chargeable battery to use without external power now the time for personal computer or microcomputer so a pc is non portable general purpose computer that fits on a normal size office table and is used by one person at a time users use pc for their personal computing needs personal computers are now very common everywhere and can be found in offices classrooms, homes, hospitals, shops, clinics, etc. System configuration of PC varies depending on their uses. However, the most commonly used configuration consists of a system unit, a monitor, a keyboard, a mouse, and a cabinet. The cabinet consists main circuit board, motherboard, hard disk, floppy, CD, DVD drive, and ports for connecting peripherals such as printer, pen drive, etc. Now the time for workstation. A workstation is a powerful desktop computer designed to meet computing needs of engineers, architects, and other professionals who need greater processing power, larger storage and better graphics display facility uh, than what normal PC provide. Users use workstation commonly for computer added design CAD simulation of complex scientific and engineering problems visualization of results of simulation and multimedia application such as for creating special audio effects in movies or television programs now let's see the mainframe computer so mainframe system are computer system Used for meeting the computing needs of organizations where a large number of transactions are processed, massive data storage and processing capabilities are needed, and large number of users need to share a common computing facility, such as in research groups, educational institutions, 
engineering firms, banks, insurance companies, hospitals, railways, etc. Mainframe systems having a small configuration are known as micro mini computers, uh, but there is no well defined boundary for differentiating between the two. Now, this time to learn something about supercomputers. Supercomputers are the most powerful and expensive computers available at any given time. Users use them primarily for processing complex scientific applications requiring enormous processing power. Supercomputers use multiprocessing and parallel processing technologies to solve complex problems fast. Some supercomputing applications are petroleum industry to identify areas where there is possibility of getting pro petroleum products inside the earth. Aerospace industry to simulate airflow around an aircraft at different speeds and altitude. Help in producing aerodynamic designs to develop aircrafts with superior performance. Automobile industry to do crash simulation of an automobile design before releasing a structural mechanics industry to solve complex structural engineering problems the design of various types of civil and mechanical structures meteorological centers for weather for weather forecasting film and tv industry to create special effects for movies and tv programs nuclear weapons testing to run weapon simulation that can test the range, accuracy, and impact of nuclear weapons. Simon Cray designed the first supercomputer CDC 6600 in 1964, the world's fastest supercomputer is China to China. In Indian scenario, Param series by CDAC and Anupam series by PARC. PAY series by DRDO. Now let's move on handheld computers. A handheld computer is a small computing device that can be used by holding in hand. Its size, weight and design are such that a user can use it comfortably by holding it in hand. It is also known as palm top. It is also known as palm top because it can uh, it can kept on palm and operated. So the first is tablet PC. A tablet PC is a miniaturized miniaturized laptop. It is usually provides all features of laptop with following differences or enhancements. Lightweight, skin flips, user can turn around screen and writing recognition, voice recognition. Now, now the second is PDA, Personal Digital Assistant or Pocket PC. So PDA is a handheld device that combines computing, telephone fax, internet and networking features. A typical PDA can function as a cellular phone, fax sender, web browser, and personal organizer. PDA may also be referred to as a palm top, handheld computer, or pocket computer. Now, the smartphone. A smartphone is a cellular phone with an integrated computer that performs many of functions of a computer, typically having a touch screen interface, internet access and uh, an operating system capable of running download apps if you found this video beneficial for you so please subscribe like share and comment thanks for watching